Hello and welcome to this masterclass on reductions of capital. My name is Tina Kerikides. Um, I'm a barrister. I practice at 11 Stone Buildings. My areas of practice are company law, insolvency law and general commercial law. Um, today what I'm going to take you through are, as I say, reductions of capital. We're going to learn what capital means. Um, how we reduce that capital, what is unlawful capital, and generally looking at the various provisions in the Companies Act. In the case of a company limited by shares, when referring to capital, there are three obvious types of capital. First of all, there's the nominal capital of the company, and this is the capital which is referred to in the memorandum. So say, for example, the memorandum may have um, £100 capital divided into 100 shares of £1 each. Secondly, there is the issued um, share capital of the company, and this is the amount of the nominal capital that is issued. Now, issued means um, if you go to the authority of National Westminster Bank against IRC, um, it's been stated that issued means where the shares have actually been allotted and registered in the name of a shareholder. So, for example, if you've got a nominal capital of 100 shares of £1 each and you issue 75 shares, then your issued share capital is 75 shares. The other obvious um, form of capital is the paid-up capital. So, a share may have um, a nominal value of £1 but um, somebody may have only paid up 50p on that nominal value. So say, for example, you have um, nominal capital of £100, you've got 75 issued shares. If you've only paid up 50p per share, then you've only got a paid up capital of £37.50. So that will be the paid up capital. Now, there are less obvious ways in which capital is referred to for the purposes of um, a reduction of, cap um, reduction of capital. Um, there are three other accounts that you need to be aware of. Well, maintenance of capital means exactly what, it's, what it says. It's actually keeping the capital of the company and not reducing it unless um, the Companies Act permits it. And perhaps by way of um, illustration of that, um, if you look at Section 74 of the Insolvency Act, that provides that if a company goes into liquidation, then the members of the company and the past members of the company are liable to contribute to, to, its, to the assets of the company in order to satisfy the liabilities and debts of the company. Now, because a company um, is a limited liability, the shareholders will only be um, restricted to paying up to the nominal value of the shares. But once they've paid that in, um, it won't be returned to them. That's a fund um, which, will be used to pay, um, which will be used to pay the debts um, of the company, so it's for the benefit of the creditors. So you've got likewise, so when um, members pay capital to the company, that, comp that capital is to be preserved for um, the protection of the creditors unless the Companies Act allows it to be used for another use. A company can reduce its capital under Chapter 10 of the Companies Act really in any way, provided, first of all, um, there is nothing in the Articles of Association which um, prohibit or restrict um, it reducing its capital. Now, if there is such a provision, then before you do anything, um, you must amend your Articles of Association. And secondly, in the case of a private company, provided the effect of the reduction is effectively not going to mean that there is no shareholder holding any shares apart from redeemable shares. If the company is a private company, um, there are two ways in which it can reduce its capital. Either it can pass a spe special resolution approving the reduction, and then it can follow an out-of-court procedure, which is prescribed by the Companies Act, or it can um, pass a special resolution, again, approving the reduction of capital, and it can apply to court for confirmation of the reduction. Now, a private company has a choice as to which route it wants to adopt, but there are certain circumstances where a private company, in fact, will not be able to adopt the out-of-court procedure. Mm -hmm.